We're back with another challenge after my failed attempt. And over the next 24 hours, we are definitely going to read 24 manga. This is dangerous. I'm going to put it down. It almost fell, but it's okay. I got it. I, got, I caught it. Um, so over the next 24 hours, my plan is to read 24 mangas. But this time I've actually like planned it. So I've just like threw it together at the last minute. So let's go over what I'm going to do. I'm going to link my first attempt. If you want to check that out, spoiler alert, it did not go very well, but I have a better plan this time. So I'm, I'm pretty confident it's going to happen this time. One, because we're going to start this in the morning instead of just like at a time that doesn't make any sense at night after being up all day. So my plan is right now to film this, go to bed, because it is, it is quite late because I finished work late, um, but then wake up early or whenever. Fully rested is the point. Wake up fully rested and then attempt it. I think that's the real key, but the other key is like figuring out what to read which I think this time I have a better chance of doing it because my selections are a little bit a little bit easier to read, I think. So the first thing I'm going to read in the morning is going to be Parasite Volume 8. I read four volumes of this in the last attempt and I really enjoyed it. So I just wanted to finish this up. This is the last volume, so I'm very motivated to get to it, of course. And yeah, I really, really enjoyed it. So that's going to be something I'm going to be able to just fly through. I think it's going to be really great as a first option. And then I'm finished the whole series too, so... That's that's the whole point of this year to finish up series, including mangas and graphic novels. So that's just going to make me feel really good right first thing in the morning. And that's going to, I think, help a lot. And then everything else, I'm not sure like what order I'm going to read it in, but I'm just going to talk about my plans. In the previous attempt, I read a manga called Blame and I loved it. It's like my new favorite thing. I'm totally in love with it. So I want to check out other things that the author had done as well. And one of them is Knights of Sidonia. And this has 15 volumes and I have all 15 of them. So I'm definitely going to be doing that pretty early in the day, I think, because it's the longest one, I think just makes sense. Um, but they are very short, which is, I think, the key to this because Blame is quite long. Like it's not very wordy, but it is quite long. And I think it's just gonna be just like, it's a good idea. Like look how, look how small that is. I think I can easily knock out quite a few, a few of these. Um, and it's like 180 pages. So that's going to be quick. And I don't think it's very wordy either. It doesn't look super, it looks a little bit more wordy than blame, but not as like not very wordy. So hopefully this is going to be the thing that makes me actually complete this challenge. And then also by the same author is Biomega. And I'm pretty sure this relates in some way to Blame 2, although I don't think you have to have read either one of them to read the other. So I'm excited about this. Downside is I only have four volumes. My library only had four volumes, but I'm I'm just going to buy the other two um, like digitally. So that's the plan. And again, I think it's going to be pretty quick to get through. It's a little bit longer, but I think it's going to be fairly quick to get through. Also, it's just like uh, slipping through it. And I'm pretty sure that somebody I knew like a very long time ago uh, was reading this because I remember flipping through it at their place one time, like uh, probably like 10 years ago or something. And I, I vividly remember like one of these panels and I can't find it. I don't know. Anyway, there's a bear with a gun. And so that that's what I, I was just like, I totally forgot about it. And then when I was flipping through this just quickly, I noticed it and I was like, wait a minute, I, I, I know that bear. And then we have two things that I'm not totally sure about, but I'm pretty sure it's going to be these two, um, but they're going to take a little bit longer. So the first is Helsing. Um, I've just heard about this for a long time and I just never picked it up. So I thought I'd pick up at least the first volume and check it out. And then making another appearance because I didn't read it in the last attempt is Orange. This is risky because I mean, it's, it's a big boy. It's a chunky boy. Um, but I think reading it at the very end is going to, well, first I'll be able to tell if I can actually read it, um, in the time frame, And if not, I can always pick something else. I have lots of things to choose from, but I just, I want to read this soon, but I think, I think I can still kind of like get through pretty quickly. So we're going to see how that goes. And that's my plan, at least so far. This is of course likely to change because it's me, but I'm feeling good about it because, well, one, they're not all super long and two, I just feel like doing it in the morning as the beginning is smarter than doing it at night after I worked all day. Doesn't seem to make any sense, but that is the plan. And I'll catch up, I guess when I finish uh, Parasite, I guess I'll just wake up and like start and then I'll update after I finish series. I'm not gonna update after I read volumes. That's, 
that's not that's stupid for me that I just talk too much for that so I'll catch up with you tomorrow after I finish my first manga this is starting off very emotional like right from the very beginning so I'm very invested and I'm a little worried for the ending okay so very quickly it is much later now obviously it's now nighttime uh what time is it 9 30 so um I finished Parasite 8 yeah 8 a very long time ago like many many hours ago um and I really enjoyed it um uh, pretty much the same feelings through like, the whole series basically but it was really emotional especially at the beginning um but just like throughout as well and I think I had a really good conclusion I think it was a great final volume and now I'm really excited to watch the anime as well because I think it's gonna be really really cool just like the way especially like the fight scenes I think it's gonna be really interesting um but yeah overall really love the whole series and it's probably one of my favorite um mangas at this point because I just think it's I just think that like the inventiveness of uh especially the fight scenes were like just top notch so I really really enjoyed it I'm happy that I finally finished it and I was able to get the final volume and now I'm about to start volume 12 yeah I have Knights of Sidonia but I'm getting really tired so I'm going to quickly make some coffee and then finish that up and then I'll talk about that just in general. I am enjoying it. There's some things I don't love about it. Like the, I think the romance is just like completely unnecessary, but in general, I do really enjoy it. And again, I really like his art style and especially like with the monsters, like the creatures and stuff. So I'm really enjoying it, but there's some things that I don't really love about it, but overall I'm enjoying it. So I'm excited to finish that up. We'll probably finish that in like, um, like two to three hours maybe. And then hopefully I'm awake by then because I'm starting to, I'm starting to fade. But usually I get like my second wind at this time of day. So hopefully we can stay up late and finish another series before tomorrow. Also, I just want to mention I started around three today. So that's all I'll be finishing tomorrow. So it's now about 12.30 and I finished all 15 volumes of Knights of Sezonia. And I enjoyed it. I'm going to talk about more tomorrow because I want to like collect my thoughts a little bit. Um, but I enjoyed it, but there's some things that I didn't love about it. Mostly like this weird, like forceful, not forceful. <laughs> it's not forceful romance. I was going to say that, but it's not, um, it's a romance, it, like the romance subplots. Um, but it seemed like it was forced in the story. Not that it was like a forceful romance. <laughs> um, yeah. So there's just like, it seems like our main character had like multiple potential love interests and it just felt like it was completely unnecessary and then I didn't really like enjoy who it ended up being I don't know it's just like a lot of things I don't like about that particular like subplot but the art is really nice um just like previous um with blame and especially like his architecture like his like building art is really really cool and then obviously like the you know like um creatures and spacesuits and stuff like that are all really really interesting really cool so i enjoyed that and i I also really enjoyed how frequent the battle scenes were and just how like fast paced everything was but then there's some parts where like it just kind of meandered a little bit and it didn't it didn't really match like the pacing didn't really match up all the time but i enjoyed everything like in general but it's not like my favorite at all um i'd say the overall rating for the series is like 3.5 to 4 stars some volumes I really really enjoyed and other volumes were just like fine like they weren't amazing um but I did I did enjoy it overall and I again like the thing for me is his art really just like jumps out at you and especially like his um scale I I really enjoy how he uses scale so like you're looking at things on the page sometimes and they seem like a normal like a like a like a, like a person not a person but like a um a creature or whatever it seems like a like a person size but then when you compare it to other things like planets or like sp- spaceships or whatever um it, they are huge and so i really enjoy how he uses scale okay so it's now the next day 
and I have like three hours left in this challenge. Um, I stayed up really late last night, so it's a little bit later than I was anticipating, but not a little bit. It's a lot later than I had planned. Um, but I also just kind of like did nothing for a little bit. Um, but that's because I'm kind of cocky, that's why. So um, I stayed up late last night and I only have one thing left to read. So I've read 23 of the 24. Um, technically, I'm going to read two. Um, but I'm not actually sure. I, I think I'll get it done in time. I have three hours. But also, you know, when you get like close and they're like, you think you're going to do it, you kind of like put things off. Um, but I'm definitely going to read one more. And the thing, I, I've changed my plans, by the way. <laughs> so um, I read another thing last night that was not on my original list. And I'm going to start a new thing completely that was not on my original list. And um, I believe it only has two volumes. So I'm probably going to get to 25 today which is, I mean, this this was brought to you by, like, very small individual volumes um, and, like, not a lot of words. So there's that. And also, I, like, planned properly this time and didn't start it late at night. So that's more helpful, too. Um, anyway, before I get into what I'm going to be reading now, let's go over um, the things that I read last night. So I finished Nights of Sidonia last night, like I said, um, but, and I talked about it a little bit, but I think I need to talk about it more just because I'm not sure how, I was very tired, so I'm not sure how, like, much sense I was making. So let's quickly go over it. So Earth was attacked by these aliens called the Ghana, and a thousand years later, we are basically left with, I think, 500,000 people or something like that. Not a lot of people um, who was able to flee Earth when this was all happening. And they live on a ship called Sidonia. And ever since then, even though it's been a thousand years, uh, they are still their enemies and they still have to, you know, fight them off, basically. So our main character is from the, I was going to say underworld. It's not the underworld, it's like the underground um levels i guess of the sidonia and anyway he comes up to the surface after his grandfather dies and he's been training to become a pilot and it turns out that he's actually really great so he's kind of like raising up you know, himself in the ranks and basically we just follow him um learning obviously through you know his simulators and like whatever training whatever um on fighting the these aliens and that's basically what the entire thing is about is basically just you know mankind fighting against these aliens um to the end kind of thing the aliens themselves are like really cool they, they're like um there's like these cores and then they have this kind of like more flesh-like sort of i don't know exterior i guess uh called placenta um but they're also like not small they're huge like they will be the size of like a ship like one single um of these aliens are gonna be like the size of a ship um and they also like come together in like clusters and um obviously that makes it you know harder to defeat them and then obviously um uh, on Sidonia, there's obviously not a lot of people like 500,000 is a decent chunk of people, but there's a, there's not a lot, right? And especially not a lot of, like, pilots, right? So I think it's really interesting, like, the concept, and the art is cool, as always, but not, like, as gritty as Blame was. So while I enjoyed the art style, I just didn't love it as much as Blame. And it is, like, an interesting world and, like, an interesting kind of, like, backstory. And like, there's cool things going on, too. Like, there's cloning. Um, there's, like, a select individuals who get to be immortal, like they are selected to be immortal, um, and like cool things like that. So I like the I like the world in general and like the tech is really cool. But the thing I didn't really like about it is the emphasis on the romance. And not so much that like there's romance because like that's fine. But just the fact that like our main character is kind of like I don't know, like <laughs> so many potential matches i guess are kind of thrust his way um so it's like it's just kind of i don't know it feels kind of weird especially for it feels like it didn't really belong basically like it's not really like entwined with the rest of the series it just feels like it didn't really fit with the plot and i just felt like it was just kind of like tacked on for like the sake of it or something um i don't know so just it didn't really quite fit with like the rest of the pieces. So while I did really enjoy it overall, I did find that 
sometimes like without the romance kind of thing um certain volumes would be very very short um and then it didn't really like add very much except for like a couple of times where like okay um but because it didn't really add very much it felt like a lot of it was just like filler and so i feel like it could have been sh like a shorter series overall you could have knocked out like a couple of volumes easily um because it just didn't it just didn't really work out perfectly um but i did enjoy it overall i would say it's like a solid like four star series but it's not like it didn't like blow me away like i enjoyed it but it wasn't like incredible to me it was it was it's it's great but it's not amazing to me you know so then after i finished in Sidonia, i picked up biomega i had four physical um volumes and then i purchased the last two from comicology um and that's what started my whole like why everything changed because you know when they're like oh you may also like this from this like that's what happened so that's why everything changed i blame the app um so i read Pyro Omega and i really enjoyed this i enjoyed this a lot more than um Sidonia because i feel like it just matches um i don't know it, it matches the things i liked about blame more the the reason why i like blame so much is because it gives um I don't know it's just very like bleak and gritty and dark and and it feels like there's like no hope and while Sidonia also felt very hopeless it didn't feel as gritty like it's definitely dark um but it feels more like space opery than like no hope left you know so like there's like a chance in Isis Sidonia that like something good is going to happen or not necessarily good but like it's not going to be like totally devastating but in blame and then in biomega as well just throughout it feels like it just feels dirty you know like it feels like very gritty and like everything just feels like like i would not survive in that world you know what i mean so while it has the same kind of like feel as blame does blame is like very slow in comparison to biomega biomega would just like it's very fast you can very quickly get lost because as you're like flipping through the pages like things are progressing at like a rapid pace and that's also like it's not just that the plot moves forward but like the art seems faster to oh that makes any sense while they're like very different in that way they're very similar in like the way that the world feels and um just the way it looks right so i really enjoy it and if i were to like r like rank them i would say blame number one biomega number two and then that's the Sidonia number three and then following in that kind of ranking the fourth rank would be noise by Nihei as well so this is obviously this is turning into a Nihei kind of situation um but um the reason why I didn't like noise as much and okay also first of all at the end of um there's only one volume of noise so at the end of that like the last chapter whatever um there's a chapter called blame and i was like oh okay this is gonna be like it's like a prequel right but it's not the same like it's not the same it's obviously like he started this and then like it was published whatever and then he decided to like expand on it and then that be that then became like the blame that continued on but the problem is the art well good is not great so number one he already like has a problem with faces um but the problem with with noise and the faces specifically is sometimes it feels like the face on like one person is not the same from like panel to panel and then when you like add in the fact that like there's not a lot of like explanation it's very difficult to follow along what's going on right so he clearly like improved um and that's why i think this came first and obviously i should have looked this up but i did not um but that's why i think it came first because he has clearly improved quite a bit but the the art while like cool when you like take a step back when you go close like with faces or whatever it becomes not good and similar to like all this other stuff you're basically thrown like right into it and there's not a lot of explanation <laughs> so that like together it doesn't really work you need to have like very high quality art 
in order to make sense of things. And then also there's it gets very short, right? And so there's not as you're not spending as much time in the world. And so before you know it, like it's over and you're like, well, what even happened? I actually <laughs> had to go back because some of the chapters are like very short. And I'm like, okay, clearly I have missed something. But no, it's just, I don't know, clearly, like, he's improved, obviously. And then that brings me to the final thing we're going to read for this. And what's it called? Abara, I think it is. Um, it, I, it comes in, like, a deluxe edition, but there's two volumes in there. So, I mean, depending on time, I might just read one, but I'll probably read two. Um, I, don't, I don't really know anything about it. Basically, this all just came because it's like, you may like this. So I'm like, yes, I probably will. So I bought it. Um, so now I'm like amassing a digital collection of, um, of manga too, which, I mean, it's a little bit more financially viable than buying and like also don't have any space. So that is going to help with that. Um, I also like don't mind reading on my iPad just because, I don't know, I feel like you can like prop it up on the stand and like it's a nice like reading experience, I guess. Um, but definitely the master editions are like the way to go for his work specifically because you could just get so much detail. Anyway, having said all that, I don't really know anything about it. All I know is there's like a creature and it attacks and uh, that's all I know. <laughs> I, that's all I saw. And again, um, I think, did I mention that here or in the last vlog? No, I can't remember. Um, but anyway, if you watch the last one or potentially earlier in this vlog, you'll know that I love creatures and it doesn't matter what it's about, if there's a creature in it, I'm there. So I read the word creature and I said yes please. So that's what's happening here. And then also just like in general his creature art is I think really great. So I'm excited to get to it. Um, it is now nearing one so I have like two hours left which I think is going to be enough time to read both of them but I'm going to read at least one and then I'll update when whenever I finish them, basically. And I, I mean, it was just a success this time, so that's exciting. So it's several days later now, and I kind of forgot to end this. I'm not sure if I actually filmed the clip and I just got rid of it, or if I just never did, I can't really remember. Uh, but I was editing this like really late last night, and I could not find the clip. So very quickly, because this is going out in like, you know, as soon as I can just slap this on and upload, basically, uh, I finished Abara or Abara? I don't know how to pronounce it. Anyway, you know, the one I was, th this one here. So I decided to just count it as like one book because technically it's two volumes, but like the one that I read it in was like a single volume. So that means 24 were read. I did read the, like I read the whole thing in like 45 minutes. Like it's very, very quick. Um, So I could have also read probably like two, maybe even three more shorter mangas, but I was like, you know what, let's just like relax a little bit. We completed the goal. And like, it's fine, we can have a little spare time, right? So I enjoyed it, but like it's in the same kind of style. So like not a lot is explained. Uh, there's like barely any dialogue. The art style, this, the art style is like not as good as his like top tier stuff. Um, this must have been kind of earlier on, I think, just based on how, because I've like read so much in such a short period of time. Um, I'm pretty sure that this is like earlier on. Um, so it's not quite there. Some some panels are like really, really good. Sometimes you'll get whole pages, like like several pages in a row that are really great. And then followed by not very <laughs> great art. Um, so I think this is like earlier on. Um, it does also uh, use... Uh, the, like the Ghana from um, Mycetidonia. So this, uh, like a Ghana comes and attacks, and that's basically the plot of the story, right? And we have um, someone who is basically the only person who can, you know, fight the Ghana. So um, I enjoyed it, but it was like very simplistic, obviously. And what you're here for in this kind of story is the art right because there's like very minimal dialogue and also some things are just like not explained at all and you just have to like move on basically um it seems like there's lots of like dead ends not dead ends but like i don't know things were just like dropped off a lot um so it's not very satisfying um it's probably like a, again like a very low three star um maybe even lower than that i just i don't know i didn't 
super enjoy it uh, because the art wasn't there all the time. Um, and in this kind of thing, the art has to like hit all the time, right? So it's similar to Noise, where I enjoyed it, but it wasn't, you know, the art really like pulled it down just because I think um, the concepts are really, really cool, especially, you know, with the Ghana attacking, um, but it just wasn't there with the art all the time. Anyway, that is it finally for this vlog. I usually edit as I go or like very soon after, but I just left it to like the very last minute to even start. I hadn't even like imported the footage yet. So that's how like very quickly I, I threw this together at the end in the editing. Um, so I, it's, it's weird to like film this clip, you know, so much later because while I like remember the, the, like the, the last manga I read, it just, it's not like my initial impressions of it, I guess, because I've like sat with it for quite a while. So I guess that's why I'm not like as enthusiastic about it because like when I finished reading it originally, um, I was like, yeah, that was good. Right. But I'm just like, was it though? So um yeah it's just weird to like film a clip so much later after you uh write something i always try to film or at least write a full review uh like very quickly after i finish it because otherwise i just like my excitement level is not there anymore i guess um which maybe is a good thing maybe we should do that more often anyway for this vlog um i think biomega and parasite are tied for my favorite uh, i just have like a really um big place in my heart for Parasite so it's up there and it was a good conclusion to the series I just wish I had read it all together in like the last attempt but finally finished it and I really really enjoyed it I'm looking forward to getting to the anime at some point point. and then for Biomega I really really enjoyed that too um on the same level as Parasite I would say um and for him it it rests like right below blame I really like that kind of like gritty cyberpunk style that he does. He has a couple more that I haven't read. Um, and also I realized that I had actually read, um, what is it? A oh, Wolverine, oh, what's it called though? I forget, um, but he also did a Wolverine um, comic um, quite a few years ago. And I actually picked that up and I have it somewhere. As I mentioned, I think in the last vlog, I have like four to ceiling comic boxes. So it's somewhere here. But I will not be looking for it. Uh, so I might check that out again because I do remember really enjoying it. Um, and I wonder if he, I don't think he ever did anything else um, in in like Marvel or anything. So anyway, that's something to look into. So I had a really fun day. I feel very accomplished. Also like, yes, I read 24 things, but they're not very long. So it's like a false sense of accomplishment, but like it's still, it's still an accomplishment, right? But what I'm really proud of is I've read so many series. And that's why I love um, mangas because and like graphic novels, because you can like you could very quickly finish them if they are finished, obviously. Um, but I don't, <laughs> so I feel like I'm going to be doing this from now on. I'm going to kind of like pick something to focus on and like just read that um, instead of like picking up like you know one issue here and like two months later picking up another issue, especially if they're finished. Like there's the you could just read the whole thing and just be done with it. And like, I think it's a better reading experience, especially for things that don't take very long to read, right? So I'm going to do that from now on because I really, really enjoy it. So that's the thing, that's like the best thing I like took out of this like two attempts because I just feel like, I don't know, I feel like I'm a different kind of reader now. Not for novels though, because that's, I'm not doing that. But well, maybe, maybe. Because some, some books, you know, you want to read the whole thing. Um, but definitely for mangas and graphic novels, I think it's a really great way to, I don't know, like fully immerse yourself in it. Thank you for watching. As always, if you have any recommendations for me based on my likes and dislikes in, in this vlog, let me know. And I'm going to be doing this fairly frequently because there's a lot of series I want to get through. And maybe not just like a 24 one because it's kind of hard in like a regular weekend to like lose an entire day. But um, not lose an entire day, but like, I have other like adult things to do so it kind of sucks to just like lose an entire 24 hours to not those things and then like rushing to get those things done um so i'm probably gonna do this type of thing and like read an entire series a manga or a graphic novel over like a weekend or a week depending on how long it is 
but it's gonna be a regular thing because I really really enjoy it and it just I have I'm in the middle of so many like if you think my book series is a long list that I'm in the middle of no no I, this I'm probably in the middle of several hundred like comic series and not so much manga because that's like a newer thing for me and I'm trying to like read those in like completion for the most part or I pick like shorter series so like it's not as daunting but like comic series that's bad it's a it's a like yeah there's a lot I would I would if I had to guess I would probably say like 500 thank you for watching um let me know any recommendations you have for me because I'm like really jumping in to manga now um I've read it a little bit but not like this so let me know if you have any recommendations and I will see you soon with another one of these but also other things too.